come to the next video lesson, uh, ninth uh, video lessons of system of Lini equation. So in this lesson, we will discuss again the solution of a linear sy uh, system, especially when the system has infinite linear solution and unique solution. So the first one, in a for a consistent system, so that means the solution exists. How you can identify a unique solution? If the rho echelon form contains uh, an augmented matrix for n variables, linear system with n variables, if it has uh, n non-zero uh, rows, then the linear system has a unique solution. So that means if the uh, rho echelon form of the matrix contain the number of non-zero rows equal to the number of variables. So in that case, we will have a unique solution. For example, if we have uh, four variables, four variables for the linear system, uh, then uh, rho echelon form of the augmented matrix should contain uh, four non-zero rows. So that means in that case, the system will have a unique solution. So that means if the number of non-zero rows in the rho echelon form of the augmented matrix is equal to the number of variable in the linear system, then the system has a unique solution. We will see this example. Suppose we want to solve this linear system. And then what we have to do, we consider the corresponding augmented matrix. Now in that case, you can see that number of variables x1, x2, x3, x4. There are four variables. So, if the system has a unique solution, augmented matrix, when we converted it into the uh, row general form, it should contain uh, four non-zero rows. So, this is our augmented matrix. So, in the augmented matrix, we have zero here. We have to make sure that it is non-zero by interchanging the second row and the first row. So, then, now this, will, this is our new row. A new matrix. So therefore, now we have one below this one. Whole entry should equal to zero. You multiply first entry first row by minus two and add into the second row. Uh, then it is zero. You multiply the first row by minus one and add into the uh, fourth row to make this one into zero. Then. So these are the operations. Then you will get uh, first column of the partition. First column of the matrix is all entries below the pivot element. They are zero. So then we move to the next one, sub matrix. So the first entry is already one. And the second is zero. What we have to do, this is into zero. You can multiply by six and add into the fourth row. So here, for that purpose, to make this one into zero, you can multiply by six and add into the fourth row. So R4 plus six R2 is new R4. Then you will have a second column is also in row echelon form. Now we move to the next one, this sub matrix. So we have to make sure that this is equal to one. So we can divide the third row by three. So that means multiply by one over three, then you will get one minus one, two. So one minus one, two. And if you need, you can multiply uh, so this is now it is in uh, second row, uh, sec third column is also in row echelon form. So then we have to move only this part. To make this one into one, one you can divide by minus one over three. So then this is become one and three. So here, now you can see this is in row echelon form. All the columns are in row echelon form. First entries are uh, first non zero entries are one, and uh, there is no uh, zero row, so therefore it is in row echelon form. Now you can uh, see that 
there were four variables and now provisional form of this augmented matrix contains four uh, non zero variable all four rows are non zero so therefore it's a, it contains four non zero uh, rows that means we can claim that it has a unique solution when you write down the equivalent system um, equivalent system you get this one so by using the backward substitution you can easily get the solution of the linear system x1 is equal to minus 1 x2 is equal to 2 x3 is equal to 1 and x4 is equal to 3. The second part of this consistent system now for the consistent system so that means solution exists there are two possibilities first one is unique solution and the second one is infinitely many solution now if the number of non-zero rows of a row echelon form uh, of an augmented matrix of a consistent linear system is less than the number of variable in the previous case number of non-zero number of variables is equal to the number of non-zero rows so in this case that is for the unique case in this case if the number of variables number of variables and number of non zero rows so if the number of variables are larger than number of uh, non zero rows so that means um, it is a it the linear system contains infinitely more, many solution but rem uh, remember for this purpose it should it should just not contain any row with the left hand partition is zero and right hand side is non zero if you do not have any such a row and number of non zero rows are less than the number of variables then the system has um, infinitely many solution for example if you have a in uh, augmented matrix n cross n1 should be n cross n plus 1 matrix corresponding to the um, augment uh, linear system if it contains only r number of non zero uh, rows which is less than n then it has infinitely many solution to write down the solution you have to use n minus r parameters so we will see some examples how to do that just consider this linear system and the corresponding augmented matrix now we have to make sure that this one is one so we interchange the first row and the second row to get this one so the first entry is one so we have to make sure all the entries below this one are zero second row is okay but we have to make sure that this is zero you can add uh, them at a multiple of first row to the third row to make this one into zero so then we have uh, 1 minus 1 0 0 plus 3 is 3 minus 3 plus 0 is minus 3 minus 1 plus 1 is 0 now you can see that the first column is in row children form now we have to move to the this part there it is already one we have to make sure that this is equal to zero so that means we multiply the second row by minus three and add into the third row so then you have this one one zero uh, the first row doesn't change second row zero one minus one and now you can see when you multiply the uh, this by minus three plus three is zero uh, minus 1 into minus 3 is plus 3 plus 3 minus 3 is again 0 and we have already had 0 here 0 plus 0 is 0 now there you can see that we have number of variables x1 x2 x3 three variables but uh, row echelon form of the matrix contains only two uh, non-zero rows so therefore you can immediately claim number of non zero rows are is equal to 2 it is less than 3 
the system has infinitely many solution to write down the solution uh, you need parameter n minus r so that means t minus 3 minus 2 so that means you need one parameter in order to describe the solution let's see how to get the solution now for the previous uh, augmented matrix for this augmented matrix this augmented matrix so we can write down the corresponding um, equivalent system x minus 3 x 3 is equal to minus 1 and x 2 minus x 3 is equal to 0. Since we need one parameter you can assign x 3 is equal to t where t is a parameter then the, from the second equation you get x 2 is equal to x 3 so that means x 2 is also equal to t. From the first equation you can get x 3 is equal to 3 x 3 plus minus 1 so since x 3 is equal to t so we can have x1 is equal to t. Suppose each value of t you can get a solution. So that means whenever t is equal to 0, you will get x1 is equal to minus 1, x2 is equal to 0, x3 is equal to 1. So t equal 1, you get x1 is equal to uh, 2, x2 is equal to 1, and x3 is also equal to one, this should be zero. Now, likewise, you can assign uh, any arbitrary value for t and then find out the corresponding solution. So, there are infinitely many possibilities for value of t. So, therefore, for each value of t, we have a solution. So, therefore, since there are infinitely many possibilities for t, so they are, there are infinitely many solutions for the linear system. Okay, so what we have discussed uh, through this lesson is to find out, consist, uh, discuss the consistent system. When, when we have the system of uh, linear equation, infinite linear solution and unique solution. For unique solution, you need number of non-zero variable, uh, number of non-zero rows in the row churn form should be equal to the number of uh, variables. For infinite solution, the number of uh, non-zero rows is less than the number of variables. So, so we will uh, discuss a couple of more examples in the new lessons. Thank you for so much for joining with us.